Well, on behalf of the, the Lex brother here, my Uncle Clarence, Louie, um, it's a little tough for him, but I will absolutely say on behalf of the entire Coleman family, Carol was such a blessing, was such a gem. My auntie, um, gosh, there's nothing that I couldn't ask her. There's nothing, uh, hairstyles, let me tell you, girl, this woman knew hair. I was in everything from fashion, she was just the it girl. And I was so proud to be her niece from the moment I was born. She was holding me in the hospital, and to the day she passed, I was there as well with all of us in them. I was happy to be there for that, but on behalf of my Uncle Clarence and all of the remaining Coleman siblings, um, we all thank you for being here. So let's do this. We're going to open this obituary, and I'm going to read about the life story of my Auntie Carol. All right, so everyone, that, you guys have them? All right, if you don't, I'll just be, be giving it to you. All right, Carol Ann Coleman Hickerson was born to the love and matrimonial union of the late Mr. and Mrs. Garfield and Christine Coleman on May 6, 1943 in Los Angeles, California. She peacefully departed this earthly life on August 22, 2023, surrounded by her loved ones in the city of Sherman Oaks, California. Carol was the eldest of nine siblings, with four of them having preceded her in death, one sister, Diane, and three brothers, Bruce, a.k.a. Dobby, Garfield, a.k.a. Cookie, and Rodney. Now, Miss Carol was short in stature, but with a father who was a prize fighter who sparred with the great Joe Lewis, Carol packed quite a punch. We all knew that she would love to try to act like she was going to beat you up. That's true. <laughs> she was a natural spitfire who would go to blows over what she knew was right if any situation called for it. As a schoolgirl, Carol would fight any bully who taunted or teased her brothers and sisters and would boldly protect anyone that she loved and held dear. Carol's parents learned early on that all of their children possessed a God-given ability to manipulate musical instruments of every kind. Carol showed exceptional promise as a vocalist and entertainer from the tender age of five. And she would stand on the coffee table in the living room and sing and dance for her parents. Carol grew to become a gorgeous, incredibly talented multi-hyphenate who excelled at everything she put her hands and her mind to. She was always a respectful young lady, and in 1965, under her father's tutelage and grooming, Carol became the lead singer of her father's group, Pops and the Three Kings. Carol's father, Pop Coleman, played the Congo drums while three of her brothers, Garfield, Bruce, and Clarence, played other instruments. The group featured Carol Ann as the vocalist. Carol sang in innumerable venues across the greater Los Angeles area on stages with droves of people flocking to see her and the band. By age 23, Carol was even added to the Motown family as a Motown singer. Come on now, Auntie. <laughs> Yes, although her time with Motown was short-lived, Carol continued to sing with Pops and the Three Kings until 1972, when Pop Coleman made an obvious adjustment and added the rest of the family, the four younger siblings who were members of their own musical operation, to form the group under one united front, and in the name of the family, the Coleman Reunion, Pacoima's Finest. I just have to add that, Pacoima's Finest. I can't go nowhere. You Betty daughter? Yeah. I got you auntie. Yes, it is. And I'm proud of that. <laughs> as a member of the Coleman reunion, Carol sang with such groups as Natalie Cole, The Dramatics, Tina Turner, Isaac Hayes, Josephine Baker, Gina Vanelli, Earth, Wind, and Fire, Etta James, and Rocky Roberts, among countless others on both television shows and live performances. After her second European tour with the Coleman family reunion, Coleman quit the group to become a full-time wife and mother to the love of her life, my amazing uncle, an entertainer in his own right, Wyatt Hickerson, who five years prior had been touring East Asia, which included performing for the USO in Korea as a member of the Taste of Honey. Y'all remember that group, right? Yes. <laughs> As the mother of a blended family, Carol, together with her husband Wyatt, successfully raised five children. Carol ran her household well, and over the years it became a lighthouse and a true beacon, not only of light, but of love, 
where almost anyone can feel welcome and enjoy great company, great music, great conversation, and a good meal. Ooh, oh, I could cook. Yes. As a mom, Carol was a loving, affectionate force to be reckoned with, who was always openly honest and always spoke her mind. Yes, she did. As a woman, Carol was innovative and beautiful and smart and talented. But most of all, Carol would say that the best thing about her was her faith in God and the fact that she was a born-again Christian who studied the Bible. Carol lived for those she loved, devoted husband, wife, her children, her grandson, Donnie, her brothers and sisters, her parents, her grandma, niece, her aunt, Helen, her niece, Portia, oh, the Kennedy Bullard family, the Coleman family, and her grandchildren. In her heart, extended family were embraced as an immediate family. Anyone related by marriage, Corey, Christian, Nikki was loved like a blood relative. Even all of her daughter's friends, Karee, Holly, Susie, were regarded like they were her own children. And over the years, they too all have become Carol's family. She built special relationships with her nieces, Portia, Delphina, and she had to name a few, as well as her nephews, John, Bam, Darnell, and Matthew Coleman, Malik, and many others, including my other cousin as well, Rashid, who was also resting in peace. But above all, whom Carol held dear, she loved with her whole heart, her Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And she learned to trust fully in him. And over her years, she proved himself to be faithful to her. Of all that girl was and could ever hope to be, she was most proud of being a disciple of Jesus Christ's teachings. Carol studied and became an ah. Uh, Apologist, yes, I'm sorry, it's just, it's just the curse of apologist, and would openly declare to any and everyone that Jesus Christ is Lord. She was always eager and excited to discuss biblical truths and to tell anyone who would listen about the joy that she had found in knowing Jesus the way she did. Carol is survived by her husband of 47 years, Wyatt Anderson, by her twin sons, Darren and Donald Harris by her daughter, Christine Hickerson Folk Lopez, Stephanie Jefferson, Hickerson Jefferson Raymond, Kimberly Hickerson Harvey Richard, and Brandy Hickerson Threat. She is also survived by her grandchildren, Sabrina Harris, Donald Donnie Harris Jr., Nicholas, Matthew, and Brandon Folk, Asa, Jonna, and Sonny Jefferson, Alexandra, Christine, Jessica, and Zara Harvey, and Jahan and Jayla Brent. Carol also has two great grandsons, once you hear he's here in the back, who delighted her heart, Hassan Johnson and Jace Aaron Jefferson. Arana, I'm sorry, Jace Arana Jefferson. Carol also leaves behind two sisters, Betty and Rebecca, Becky, and two brothers, Clarence Lully and Milton Milt. Having come from a very large and loving family, Carol also leaves behind a multitude of uncles, aunts, nieces, nephews, cousins, and all of them who loved her dearly. Today, we honor Carol by holding fast to all that she taught us throughout the years about God, about love, and about family. Carol was and is, and will remain a beautiful memory in our hearts and in our minds, where she will always live in all of us. My aunt is not gone. My aunt is everywhere now. That is a blessing and a beautiful feeling to know that she has transcended this life and she is now living an eternal life with my grandparents and with all those who preceded her. So thank you guys so much for coming and I know she'd be very happy about today. Thanks. 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 Okay, let's go. Uh, my beautiful cousin, Marcia Norris, came all the way from Las Vegas. So thank you. And in honor of our Aunt Helen, who is 90 plus years old right now, she's representing the, the family. So thank you, Marcia.